So welcome everyone, happy days are here again. We're here today for another Nintendo Switch review. This time we're looking at the HomeSpot Bluetooth adapter so you can use your Bluetooth headphones on the Nintendo Switch. I'm honestly a massive fan of the Nintendo Switch, if you couldn't tell already from my other reviews. However, I do think one of the biggest oversights they made was the ability to connect Bluetooth headsets and Bluetooth headphones to the Nintendo Switch. Now, I'm not going to lie, I have had this product a while. That's why you can trust this review, because it's had a lot of use and plenty of time to check out what works well and what doesn't. Now, before I bought this, I originally did a lot of research into other devices that did a similar sort of thing. The one that stood out to me most was the Genki, but at the time it was only available on Kickstarter. And us in the UK, you know, with the commissions and the taxes and the import tax and all the delivery charges, it actually made the Genki a really expensive option. So I got on Amazon, did a bit of research, and I found this one from HomeSpot. The other one I looked at in big detail was the Ghouli kit. However, I didn't like it. There were all different options, different models and things, and I just, it was too much. So I went for the home spot because it was plain, simple. It looked a bit like the Genki, to be honest. Um, it had good reviews. It looked straightforward. So I saw it, I bought it, delivered next day, and, you know, this is what I got. So what I'm going to do is my traditional unboxing, although it's been partially unboxed to start with, review, talk you through the details, and then I'm going to talk you about a slight difference because when I went to look back at Amazon to see what the price is now, they have made a slight alteration to the newer model. So this is obviously not obsolete, but it's definitely the model before because there was a slight difference in the newer model, but I'll talk you all that through once we've had a look at this one in more detail. So first things first, let's look at the box. I must admit when this box came from Amazon, I wasn't filled with a lot of uh, a lot of faith that this was gonna be a great product. Checking out the front, it's got a picture of just the adapter. Now there's more than just the adapter that comes with this product. Uh, it's a stuck on sticker. I was really pleased they stuck it on very straight as you can see and no creases. You look at that quality. However, you know, I will forgive it after using it because it's actually a really good quality product. The box does not do it any justice. On the sides, we've got nothing. On the back, we've got nothing. Here we go, ripped open, already opened. You know, the box doesn't do a lot to advertise how good the product actually is. So although it's already been opened, I think it's worth opening the box so you can imagine it all being in there in place. You know, I could have resealed it, pretend like it was new, but I'm not gonna lie to you guys. So let's get it open. So we had the cardboard insert where I had all the product in. I was a bit concerned about this because inside the USB device that comes with the product, um, these pieces of cardboard were jammed inside. That didn't uh, fill me with a lot of faith. So we've got ourselves the instructions. I, I must admit in terms of as instructions go, you know, I was fairly pleased to see there were lots of pictures and things. So on the first bit of the instructions, we've got ourselves the actual device. It is aptX low latency. So what that means, I know, a lot of you will be concerned about connecting Bluetooth devices to the Switch because you're worrying about the lag. There is nothing worse than the sound being slower than the action on the screen. Now this, along with a lot of the other devices, have this aptX low latency feature, which means if your headphones support it, it's a, it's a um, communication um, feature, which means that the lag is kept at an absolute minimum. This has got that built in. So looking at what's actually included, the warranty card with the smiley face, oh, fills you with that warm feeling inside. It's got the device, it's got a mini mic that plugs into the stereo input of the switch, so it does work as a microphone as well. So if you're gonna be playing things like Fortnite, you can use it to, uh, to talk to your friends. It comes with a pouch, I do love the pouch, and it's got a USB-C to USB-A adapter. So therefore, you can use this device, because that's of course a USB-C, you can use the device plugged into the dock, and in fact, any device has got a USB port. Now I have used this with the PS4 and it worked a treat. Next, looking at what happens, we got ourselves our two buttons. Um, so one of the features of this one that's better than the original Ghouli kit when I looked at it was that you can have two separate pair of headphones connected at once. So one will be connected to the blue button, and one will be connected to the red button. So imagine you're on the train, you don't want to you know, disturb all the other people. So what you can do is you and your friend can have separate headphones plugged in and, and attached all at once, which I thought was a great feature. Shows how it works, you plug that bad boy in the bottom, you've got the little thing that clips in the top of the microphone, connected by Bluetooth, you know what to do, you press the buttons, oh, that's enough of that. Got ourselves our warranty card, happy, not happy, all the different languages, 
let's get all that out the way we don't care about it we want to see the product now we've seen enough of the instructions so it's time for your main event let's get the product out let's see it let's see it firsthand so first thing we get is we get this lovely pouch which keeps all the parts of the device together i love me a good pouch you know my feelings on that so let's get it open Ooh, bit of velcro i'm sure you heard that and let's tip out what we actually physically get so first things first let's have a look at the actual adapter itself so one of the reasons I really like this one, it was very, very slim line. There was no large, you know, anything poking out the sides or down the bottom. It fits very, very flush to the switch. So looking at the front, we've got the two buttons. We've got the um, player one headset, player two headset. And uh, on the bottom, we've got absolutely nothing. Now, one of the big differences between this and the, um, the Genki was the Genki had a uh, adapter at the bottom. So you could plug in power, so you could power through the device to charge it. So one of the disadvantages for this one is you can't charge your device whilst this is plugged in. Now, pros and cons, you know, I can see the benefit of both. However, I'm always dubious about using third party charging or interfering with the charging in any sort of way. So this was, in fact, better for me. On the top, we've got the USB-C adapter to plug into the bottom of the switch. And we've got these two little protruding bits of plastic that attach to the bottom to secure it in. So I'm going to show you plugged into the switch. Let me just grab my switch. We've got it here. And... USB-C, in it goes, click, and bam, it's detected. So you could see in the top left-hand corner, it said the USB device is, is attached. It's really in, it's really slick and flush to the, the device. It's not protruding, it doesn't really hinder you in any sort of way. A lot of the third-party ones I have seen, or well, I know this one's third-party, but a lot of the alternatives I've seen are quite large and, and sort of obtrusive to using the device. I really like this one because it was nice and slick. So taking it out and putting it to one side, let's check out what else we've got. So we've got ourselves our little microphone. So you plug this in the top, hopefully you can see that. Yeah, there we go. So we plug this in the top. So this is a little microphone. So it plugs in the stereo port. Looks a little bit like, look at the effort I'm going to on this video, eh? Ooh, clip. Now I'm not a big fan of like the, uh, the microphone and stuff like that. However, you know, if you're gonna do that sort of thing, that's absolutely fine. Me personally, given the way that the uh, the conversation works and the chat works on the Switch, I'm a bigger fan of just using something like FaceTime to chat to my friends. Um, but if you were determined to use it through this, you can use that microphone at the top. I'm not a big fan because it protrudes from the top. You know, you might catch it on something, but you know, at least they're offering you that option. So let's take it out. Let's have a look at the next bit giving credit where it's due i do think home spot i've thought about this very very carefully and they provide us with one of these so it's a usb a to usb c adapter which means that you can use this device in all sorts of different situations the biggest one that they're obviously suggesting is that you could plug that into the switch dock and i can confirm that does work a treat you plug that in you plug the usb uh, you put the adapter in the bottom which looks a bit like that Clip it in, away you go. It also works on the PS4. However, you've got to be careful because of the width of the adapter, it does sort of block the uh, the second USB port on the um, PS4. To get around that, I bought myself a USB extension cable, which seemed to solve the problem straight up. Now, I've always promised to be honest in my reviews, and I will say initially, when I first used this, I did have a connection problem, not when just using the device by itself, but when using that into the switch dock. I don't know if there was some sort of interference between the Bluetooth of using the um, Nintendo um, Pro Controller and the Bluetooth headset, but I did find using the USB extension cable completely alleviated that. Give it a couple of months later, I think there've been some system updates to the Switch and I never had that problem again. I've been using that plugged into the Switch dock since the update. You know, I think it's the, is it the 4.0, something like that. And it's been working absolutely fine. So you know, that completely alleviated that issue. Now I know what you're thinking, the biggest question is, but what's the lag like? What are, what headphones does it work with? Plain and simple, if it's got Bluetooth, it's gonna work. Now the lag is completely dependent on the headphones that you use. If you've got some headphones that have the aptX feature, you know, the lag will be kept to the absolute minimum. Now I'm gonna open myself up to some abuse here because I know what some of you people think about Apple, but I can honestly say I've used the uh, this adapter with both of these. You've got the AirPods and you've got the AirPod Pro. Now they not they don't have the apt X feature, yeah. They don't claim to have that sort of feature. However, I can honestly say with both of them, there's been absolutely no noticeable lag whatsoever. Now 
I'm a bit of an audiophile in terms of, uh, you know, I've got, uh, you know, I'm all about Dolby Atmos, great sounding devices and stuff like that. And I would notice if there was any lag or if there was any, you know, disjoint between the picture and the sound that's coming out. However, I just couldn't tell that. It was, in my opinion, it was absolutely perfect. Now, I've used that in all sorts of different games. I've used it on the YouTube app that's on the Switch as well. And it's been absolutely perfect. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to hopefully try and show you how to sync up the headphones to the adapter. Now, I haven't tried this for a long, long time, so let's see if I can get it to work nice and slick in front of the camera. Oh, let's see. So first things first, turn on your switch. In we go. Looks like that. Next thing, let's plug in the headset at the bottom. Click in it goes a bit like that. So... When it's plugged in, you'll know it'll work because if you use the volume rock, it goes USB at the top, which is excellent. So next thing, press and hold the, the button and hopefully it should start flashing. That means it's trying to sync. So with the AirPods, open them up, press the sync button at the back. Hopefully it goes into syncing mode. Yep, there we go. It's trying to sync, trying to sync. Oh, we'll trust it not to work very well when this is on here. Sinking, 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 sinking. It's thinking about it, bam, done. So that's connected, it's connected to this, so therefore these AirPods will per work perfectly fine. So thinking a little bit about what I said previously, I said I haven't synced it up in a while, which doesn't mean they haven't used it, I use it all the time. However, one nice feature about this is it will automatically resync to whatever it last sunk to. Is that even a word? So open it up, you know, and then click the button, and then hopefully it'll try and search for the last thing that it connected to, which is this one. So hopefully, da, 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 bam, connected again. So it saves a lot of time. You don't have to repair it every time. I know there are Bluetooth adapters for the Switch that require you to resync and repair every single time. This simply is just not one of them. Right, so whilst I get all this out the way, you know, I just want to give you a quick update. So from looking on Amazon, there does seem to be a slightly newer model of the adapter which has been released. So there it is move everything back into picture. So the question is, what's the difference between this model and the slightly newer model? In terms of the Bluetooth and the aptX, it's exactly the same. It's Bluetooth 5.0, so there is no difference there. The only difference is with the microphone. So in the newer model, what they've done is they've done away with this little uh, <laughs> treat. And what they've done is they've built a microphone into the bottom of the um, adapter. Now, seems like a logical thing to me this is just a bit of an extra annoyance having it all built in sounds great so fundamentally they're identical now when i first bought this device i had two choices of colors i had the blue and the red to match the switch but you could have had gray and gray why did i go for the blue and red <sighs> plain and simple because it was cheaper uh, i hope that's no reflection on me as a person however it does look like now there is an additional set of colors available which is the neon green and the neon pink now i wish i could go back and get those colors because they'd match the uh, joy cons i've got but who says i can't buy another set you know variety is the spice of life and all that in terms of price what are these bad boys gonna set you back well in terms of great British sterling pounds, you're looking at about $39.99. When I originally bought it, it was about $37.99, but obviously that was a while ago. I think it was probably just under 12 months ago. In terms of inflation, it's to be expected. You know, in the times we're living, of course, means everything's a little bit more expensive. Now, do I think that's value for money? Absolutely. I think this is a vital piece of equipment. It absolutely boggles my mind to think that Nintendo haven't already included something like this in the Switch. I mean, the idea of having to plug in headphones with a cord is absolutely just mind-boggling in this day and age. You know, we're all about wireless, you know, and for Nintendo to think, yeah, it's okay, let's plug the cable in. No, 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 we ain't going to have none of that. This is an absolute must-buy. In terms of performance, the actual adapter itself, you know, I've had absolutely no problems with. It's worked 100% of the time whilst it's been plugged into the Switch. There's been no lag, you know, I highly recommend it. There's been no issues at all. You know, I've already spoke previously about using the adapter with the USB inside the Switch dock, but that seemed to clear itself up. I assume that was some sort of form for... Um, firmware problem or some sort of bluetooth interference but after that you know it's been absolutely fine so my final thoughts on this device i give it two thumbs up there's one and there's the other i think if you've got a nintendo switch you literally owe it to yourself to go and buy one of these adapters i'd highly recommend the home spot one i've had it i've used it you know i can tell you firsthand it's an absolute quality product I know the, the Genki has got great reviews online, so if you can get hold of the Genki, it's fundamentally the same sort of thing. 
The biggest difference between this and the Genki, of course, is the pass-through charging. I wouldn't touch that with a 40-foot barge pole because I don't like anything messing with the charging after all the horrific reports online. In terms of the Ghoulie kit version, you can also get from Amazon. Uh, I'm not sold about it. I've not used it. Reviews I've seen have been a bit mixed, but... If you own it and you think the Ghoulie kit's the one to go for, put it in the comments so I can hear all about it. So with that in mind, let's draw this review to a close. If you've got any comments, please post them in the comment section. I do read each and every comment and I make a habit of trying to reply to every comment as well. It really means a lot to me to know what you guys think. If you've enjoyed the video, please give it a thumbs up. We, it really does mean a world to me. But most of all, you know, I want to say a big thank you to everybody that subscribed to the channel. I say everybody, I've gained a few subscribers from, since my last video, and honestly, it means the world to me to think that people actually care enough to subscribe to my channel. You know, it's early days, I'm developing and hopefully getting better, and each time I get a new subscriber, it really does mean a lot to me. Really, really does. So please press that subscribe button. Honestly, it does mean a lot to me if you couldn't guess that. So with that in mind, look after yourself, look after the people around you, and most importantly, stay out of trouble.